Welcome to another episode of GeoTube. And right now, I am going to feature an ESL company named ABC360. I'm so happy that a friend of mine has agreed to join me in this, you know, to have a collab with me in a way. So he's going to talk about ABC360 because he's with the company for quite some time already. So guys, you better stick around. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? Click that subscribe button and click that bell button as well so that you will have updates on my videos in the future. Hi, my name is Gio and welcome once again to another episode of GeoTube. So this is my first time to have a one-on-one -on -one interview with somebody who is working with um, with an ESL online company named ABC360. That's right, no? ABC360. So actually, yeah. I heard about this company as well because I'm one of the members sa mga group cha uh, Facebook group <coughs> of ESL online companies here in the Philippines. And I kept on reading about ABC360 and I'm so happy that I have somebody with me who can talk about uh, the company to us. Okay, so Greg, please tell me or tell us about yourself first. <laughs> okay, all right. My name is Greg Kies Jr. Um, I'm 25 years old. I come from Mountain Province. Okay. Uh, where is it? We are the so Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Mountain Province and Benguet. Um, Benguet. Okay. Then as a car. Okay, perfect. Ah, si Karotman, di ba dyan galing si Karotman? Oh. Ah, okay. So, um, Greg, tell us something <laughs> about ABC360. Anong company ito? Saan ito based um, company? Alright. Um, ABC360 is a Chinese company. And ito ba is sa siya, China? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, sa Hong Kong. Mm, okay, and do you know how old the company is? Um, okay, I think old enough. Um, Twelve years. Okay. So, Greg, what are the requirements? Like, if somebody wants to apply, could you tell us about the requirements for somebody who wants to um, require to be a college graduate? Okay, take note. Dapat college graduate. Yes, and the TESO, okay, uh, teaching cert certificate mm -hmm. is a plus, mm -hmm. and the wired internet connection, okay, okay, must have, uh, of course, noise canceling uh, microphone, okay, and uh, in quiet environment, mm -hmm. yeah. So far, yes. <laughs> would, would it would it matter? Yung laptop is Mac or Windows? Um, I'm not quite sure with that one, but I'm using Windows. So I think preferred Windows. So tell us something about the starting rate. Dun sa dun sa company mo, magkano yung starting rate? Okay, as far as I know, um, uh, starting rate um my 100 and above. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, depending on the records, mo, because mm -hmm. you may question you, uh, may raise din siya. So, pag you get to, you know, have like perfect metrics, mm -hmm. like, <clears throat> um, walang masyadong cancel or walang cancellations, mm -hmm. walang late or any bad records, uh, for like uh, three to four consecutive months. Mm -hmm. Um, you na mag 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 raise sila so uh, five pesos here, kana. Okay. So if, for example, you get uh, you know nakwa mo yon. Um, that was one hundred in rate mo. Malalay to kaniya ng five, so your rate would be like around one hundred five. Okay, so let's just say one hundred five per hour yung rate, yung starting rate. Okay, so. Magkano yung pinakamalaking natanggap mo? Magkano yung millions of pesos na natanggap mo working with 360? Okay. Alright. Okay, so since nag-asawa na tayo, um, well, nalesa na yung work, uh, working hours ko. 
um, so now I get to have a salary of more or less 20. The 30,000 pesos that na received mo, um, how long did you work for that one? Like how many hours did you work for that in a week? <coughs> Was that seven days a week, seven or six days in a week, eight hours a day? Tell me something about how you received the 30,000 na yung pinakamalaki natanggap mo. Okay. Well, yun, five hours, um, probably five hours shop per day. Mm-hmm. Pero pag sa weekends kasi, depende, madami, pa, madami sila ni pag weekends. So I get to work for like eight hours to, yeah, eight hours for the weekends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well actually, um, wala akong masyadong days off eh. Mm-hmm. Kaya minsan straight, uh, straight na working. Uh, from Monday from Monday to Sunday, means and then, isang day so isang day of work, like okay. in two or two or three days of in a month. Mm, okay, and, good. Yeah. All right. So, ano yung mga students ng ABC 360 cater to what nationalities and then ano yung age na kini cater ninyo? Okay. So, at the beginning of this video, um, sabi ko it's a Chinese company. And it only caters to Chinese students. Mm-hmm. And uh, in age group, it would be like around three. Uh, so three five, years three old. Na, 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 student, you know, three years old, up to sixty or um, more, more. Yeah, sixty plus mm-hmm. uh, years old. Wow. Mahirap ba magturo ng ano? Like, have you tried teaching with a sixty-year-old mm-hmm. student? Yeah, I did. But then uh, yung level, yeah. But uh, hindi siya ganon kataas, mm. so hindi ako masadong nahirapan. So you ah, have to okay. like uh, um, the yeah the student that I had like uh, active siya na matanda, okay. and then ma- ma- mapagsalita. So mm. kung ganon ganon yung adult na may may student mo is kayaan mo lang na magsalita siya ng magsalita mm. and then pag may nag may nagcrash ka na uh, grammar lapses yun lang yun parang i ang tawag din iba point out mo sa kanya mm-hmm. uh, pag uh, nag wrap up ka na okay. at the uh, end of uh, before you end the class all right so well right. you mentioned about teaching 3 year old kids and well mm-hmm. i know that you know one of the requirements there is you have to use tpr sa mga hindi alam ko ano yung tpr tpr is total physical response on which you will use ano yun physical actions <laughs> to mm-hmm. emphasize My, your body gestures your body gestures and so you have to like this you yeah and i One know you is- are good at it you are good <laughs> at doing total physical response so please show us at least five TPRs. <laughs> okay, let me. Ako na yung ano. Um, let me help you on this. How do you perform? Perform talaga no. How do you do okay. TPR for? Like, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Ang galing. <laughs> ang galing. How about can you see? Yeah, but, yeah I, can you hear me? Yeah. I I I look to the student and but then I do this one at the same time. So you can be looking there and then doing this. You have to look to the student, okay, and then you do that. Oh, galing. Okay, how about can you see me? Okay. Um, yeah. Like again, um, I work mostly with an audio class, uh, audio classes. <laughs> so I'm not really used to doing uh, TPR actually with a you know video classes. So can you please teach okay, me so, how to do that? Okay. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, um, I'd actually wait. Hi, can you see me? Eh, galing. I myself. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> galing naman. Okay. Well, may mga parts yung lessons. Like, when you read mm-hmm. the dialogue part, so how do you do that? Like, how do you encourage uh-huh. the student to read her part, his or her part? How do you All do right. That? So, okay. Well, if you do have some puppets, uh, okay, on you, you can actually use them. Okay, so you can encourage your student to, okay, <clears throat> um, have the dialogue. So you'll be, uh, <coughs> for example, I use my hands too mm-hmm. as my puppets. So, yeah. Okay, so let's have a dialogue. Okay, all right. 
So, for example, this will be Mandy. Okay, and this will be Jimmy. Okay, so Mandy will say hi. Okay, and then, all right, Jimmy will respond hello. Ang okay. galeng naman. <laughs> Ang galeng, 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 galeng. Hello. Yeah, I'm so parang... proud of you. <laughs> Okay, and there I will be. Uh, yeah, parang dilay mo muna. O yung Mandy, kaya yung Jimmy. So, gaga nang gaga. Reading part. How do you encourage a student to read something? Okay. Are again. Do do that? Mm, depende on the level ng student. So, pag reading part naman. Um. <coughs> what do you call that? Pag yun, pag yung level niya is very low. You have to guide the student to, you know, um, read. So you're gonna read either word, okay, word by word, or yeah, per sentence, depending on the level. So by very low level, kailang i guide word, yeah, word per word. Yeah. So I, so I, for example, I am. Parang ganon dahan dahan. Um, happy. Mm. Okay. So, <laughs> eto last number five. Eto yung usual na question na we always get the wrong answer from students. Mm. Usually, tinatanong ko sila, "How old are you?" Yung tinatanong, sinasagot nila is, "I'm fine." And sometimes when I ask them, "How are you?" and then they say, "I'm seven years old." So, how do you use TPR to correct the mistake? <clears throat> Actually, um, ayun, uh, <clears throat> na, okay, yun yung often na namimiss ko nila pag narinig. So, ang um, ginagawa ko, uh, okay, I'd mention numbers and then raise my hand. Okay, so, are you five years old mm-hmm. or three, okay, or four, something like that? Are you? Okay, so and then I pronounce it like that, and uh, yun magkuha nila na magkagrasp nila. Oh, okay, teacher is talking about uh, talking about numbers, so <clears throat> magkuha nila, magkagrasp nila, magkagrasp nila, and then they say their age. Hmm. Oh, galeng. Gat ganon pala yun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, well, Greg, um, again, how long have you been teaching as an online ESL teacher, or, or how long are you in the industry now? Uh, okay, uh, four years now. Okay, four years. So tell me something about the advantage and disadvantages in working as an online <coughs> ESL teacher. Let's start with uh, disadvantages. Okay, disadvantages is um, okay. You'll get easily. Bored, mm-hmm. pag magisa ka, and uh, your social life. Unlike at the office, um, you know you get to meet your colleagues mm-hmm. every time. Yeah, papasok. Pero pag sa kwan, ayon, ma boring and then yun social life. Balak na masaya ng social life. Zero social life. Mm-hmm. Hindi ka social. <laughs> Okay, so advantages. Alam ko andami, andami ng advantages. Andami. Yeah, like yeah, you can um, dress up whatever you like, however you like. Yung parang t-shirt lang. Ah, yeah. wala pa lang requirements sa ABC 360 na you have to wear this color. Uh-huh. Dapat may may. Ah, um, depende pag talagang gusto mo ngasin na maging professional sa mga sulanti mo, look look professional and you can use um. Shirts with colors mm. or suit. But as for me, you know, uh, but as long as as long as when, as long as uh, you don't wear uh, tank tops, you know, nakita yung maapun uh, mo. Mm. Okay, lang t-shirt na ganito, okay lang. Ah, pade pala ganito. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, that's I think um, that's something. Um, what else? Ano pa yung advantages? Okay, of course For you, you. manager. Um kasi sa sa amin yun booking system and then they've given us the control na uh to plot our own schedules. Mm-hmm. So 
um, yung advantage is that of course you get to have uh, more free time mm-hmm. and then if you have some like uh, important appointments ahead of time especially but uh, next week and then hindi pa nabook yung klase mo pwede mong close yung slots mo and then yeah close mo yung slots mo para mapuntahan mo yung appointment mo and yun <laughs> uh, more convenient of course okay. you don't have to pay for years papuntang office <laughs> mm. okay and then sa food you don't have to like you know spend so much money by exactly food. yes mm. you can magluto ka pwede ang magluto Ayan. okay you mentioned about booking system yung ABC 360 um does it mean that you have to sell your profile dun sa platform nila kasi there are ESL companies that you have to make a very beautiful profile of yourself so that people will book you for lessons does it work that way in ABC 360 then or you are given students mm-hmm. parang, I, I, want, I don't know can you tell us about the booking system that, that, that actually counts uh, okay. when it comes to that's why um, um, recently I've been asked by my uh, uh, <coughs> coach na i-edit ko lang yung kanto yung profile ko pero tinamad ako eh <laughs> mm, okay tinamad ako alright so yeah so you need to have an attractive profile so that students will book your lessons or book your class I mean that's right di ba? yeah that's a plus <laughs> ABC 360 invite us maybe I want to apply uh-huh. as well so tell us what to do if you want to apply with ABC 360 um okay guys so if you're interested uh, in working with us in ABC 360 okay um yeah uh there, there, there will, I will be sending I will be uh, sending you a link and uh, some more details about ABC 360 and uh, there you'll find out more about details uh, okay on yeah what to do okay before you apply or um or they can the contact you anything. as well Deba. they can contact you as well you will give them your profile, Facebook profile as well. <laughs> okay, so I will be writing down the link um, of the referral link of Teacher Greg so that you can apply with ABC 360. And there will also be the teacher number, right? So I will also be writing the teacher number because that is one of the requirements as well. So that you can uh, click on the link as his referral and, you know, Good luck on your application with ABC 360. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me once again. And I hope you have enjoyed my latest episode. I hope you have learned from uh, what we what I have presented to you a while ago. That was ABC 360. I am trying my best to feature people who are working with certain companies, ESL companies, so that you know uh, we will have an idea on what the company is like and we might be you know, we might be interested to work and or, or to apply in these companies in the future. Okay, so daghang salamat sa mga nagtanaw and daghang salamat sa mga nagsubscribe. So if you haven't subscribed yet, so what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to click that bell button as well so that you will have notifications or, you know, for updates on my videos in the future. So thank you so much, people, and see you next time. Bye-bye.